play in the first one. Still kind of talking about Aaron Rodgers here, but this time we're hearing from Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning's sounding off on this whole Aaron Rodgers situation, and you know, he holds a lot of weight. I mean, he you could maybe put him in the greatest of all time category. Um, I would not. I don't think I would have this man top three. Top five, maybe. Maybe if you want to go there. Maybe. Uh, but I don't think top three. But, you know, still one of the biggest in the game. One of the best in the game. So, let's see what he's saying. Peyton Manning says he can't fathom Aaron Rodgers not playing in 2021, but doesn't see it happening in Denver. Yeah, and once again, I don't see that happening in Denver either. I really think it's either Packers or nothing. Um, so, and like I said, you know, we just talked about what Aaron Rodgers was saying. He's like, hey, I'm going to take a couple more weeks and see how I feel and go from there. And then we know that the training camp is coming up on July 27th. So two more weeks out for Aaron Rodgers to kind of, you know, make his choice, sink or swim, play or don't play, legacy chasing or legacy crushing. We'll see what happens. But let's get into this article and let's see what uh, Peyton Manning is saying. All right, so Manning appeared on MLB Network ahead of the 2021 Home Run Derby, Derby at Denver Coors Field on Monday and offered his thoughts on the ongoing Aaron Rodgers situation in Green Bay. After months of subtle rumblings linking Rodgers to a potential move to the Mile High City, Manning threw some snow on the subject when asked where he thought Rodgers might be going. Quote, quote, Great question. Obviously, it's the question of the summer here in Denver. Obviously, I hope he plays somewhere this year. The fact that Aaron Rodgers might not play this year, I can't fathom it. He's too good of a player, too fun to watch for the fans. I personally hope it's in Green Bay. That's where I see him as. I hope they can kind of make amends and work it out. The team is so close. If he were to leave there, it'd be a major change, obviously, for them. So... Once again, I mean, they're so close, and that's what we're hearing. I mean, the last three years, folks, we have to kind of put all this into context. Aaron Rodgers is saying he wants more help, but at the end of the day, you're still going 13-3. and three. You know how great of a record that is in the NFL, folks? It's absolutely astounding. Every every team thrives to at least be 13-3. and three. More realistic bars are, are a 10-6 and six and an 11-5 season. 12-4 and four is when we're starting to get into kind of elite team territory, and if you got more than 12 wins, I'm sorry. You got enough pieces folks it's all up to the talent of doing it on a, just a general uh, a consistent basis as you go through the playoffs so you know we, we're hearing all this kind of talk of we need more help but you know Peyton Manning saying they're right there we're seeing they're right there you're getting to the conference championship games on a yearly basis that, once again that's hard to do folks but they're doing it these last two years so we really just kind of don't understand where Aaron Rodgers is truly coming from in this situation um, all right, and one other thing he says, you know, he's too good of a player not to play. He's too fun not to have his fans watch, and that's true, folks. We know Aaron Rodgers is kind of, you know, very cerebral. He understands how things work. He understands how just kind of the moving parts work around in the media, the football, the fans. He understands it all. So, when you know he's the when Aaron Rodgers is deciding whether to play this season or not, he knows if he doesn't play, it's going to affect his legacy. Having a year off, not chasing those accolades, not having a great passing year to bolster up his overall career resume. Because Aaron Rodgers knows he's in the conversation of greatest of all time, folks. You can't tell me if you're if you're an athlete, if you're playing something, you know where you just kind of stand in general. You know if you're one of the greatest to ever do it. You know if you're just kind of, you know, tier one, solid tier two player in this league. Or you know if you're just an overall role player, folks. Everybody knows where they just kind of fit in on their level of play. Now, what they say in the media is obviously a different question. A lot of people say, yeah, I'm the best in my position. Yeah, I'm the greatest to ever do it. But deep down, yourself, what you know yourself, your thoughts, your thinking, your heart, you know where you are in the league. And Aaron Rodgers truly believes that he's one of the greatest to ever do it. And that's fine. We've got no problem with him thinking. Thinking that because he kind of is. Like I said, you know, I don't put Peyton Manning in the top three of all time, but I think I put Aaron Rodgers top three of all time, honestly. I just can't put him number one because of the ring issue, because of the clutchability issue in the big time games. I don't care that this man is throwing Hail Marys in the regular season. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I want to see what you're doing, you know, on the 10-yard line. You need the score to win. You need the score to tie at the 20-yard line. You know, game uh, game um, ceiling kind of drive. You're down five. A minute left. 
Three timeouts starting on your own 10-yard line. That's what I want to see you step it up, getting it done in the big-time situations. So Aaron Rodgers is having this on his shoulder. Do I play this year? Do I suck it up? Do I play for a franchise that doesn't respect me um, for my overall legacy? Because I know 10 years down the road when, you know, we're having the GOAT debate, you know, is it Tom Brady? Is it Aaron Rodgers? Is it... um, Patrick Mahomes, is it Justin Herbert? And yes, Justin Herbert will be in that category, folks. You can guarantee that. You can take that guarantee to the bank, folks. Uh, You know, he knows, like, hey, if I sit out the season, that's going to be negatively kind of, you know, talking point against me in the greatest of all time discussion. So uh, we really think Aaron Rodgers is just going to end up playing. He kind of got all of his kind of complaints out there. Uh, The fans back him up. The fans understand, hey, you know, Aaron Rodgers is doing this just to play, but, you know, he got all of his vocalizations of what is wrong with this organization and what his kind of... um, He's kind of, you know, knocks against the organization were. So I do think he is definitely going to play here. But let's see what uh, else Peyton Manning's got to say. So, quote, my gut is he's not coming to Denver. My gut is Denver's going to have Drew Locke or Teddy Bridgewater be their quarterback. At this point, you got to kind of know what your plan is. You can't be having a new quarterback three weeks before the season. So, hey, if, if, you know, um, if Peyton Manning is saying, hey, you can't have a quarterback for the next three weeks before the season, I would kind of take that as kind of the gospel. He's been winning at a high level. He's got multiple rings. He's kind of been, you know, a very, I mean, you know, when we're talking about, you know, who has been like the AFC, uh, the AFC champions and the, just the best quarterbacks of the AFC for the last 20 years, it's always basically Tom Brady or Peyton Manning. Those were like the two always going at it. Tom Brady kind of getting the upper ha- the upper hand a little bit more, but Peyton Manning was always the solid number two. So I'll definitely take that as the gospel. You can't have a, even a, great quarterback even a quarterback as good as Aaron Rodgers it's still the team and that's kind of what Aaron Rodgers kind of main point is hey it's not me it's the team I need the team to be great and if you know uh, you're just going to switch quarterbacks just like that. That's just going to mess up the overall team, the wide receivers, the line, the blocking, the lingo, how you're calling the plays in the huddle. So, you know, if Aaron Rodgers does come to Denver, it may not be very pretty the first year. And now we're going to get this entire saga over again. But this time, instead of calling Matt LaFleur trash, he's going to be calling... Uh, the the, uh, the Broncos head coach trash. He's going to be calling the offensive line of the Broncos trash. He's going to be calling the wide receivers of the Broncos trash because they weren't getting it done year one. So I think Aaron Rodgers is just going to kind of suck it up. He got all of his kind of, you know, voices about what is wrong with the organization out there. Now it's just time to play football. Everybody's already behind Aaron Rodgers. They agree, hey, it's kind of the front office. It's the organization. It's the coaching fault. It's never Aaron Rodgers. So he's already kind of got that on his side. So if you flounder again this season, it's going to point right back to the organization and nobody's going to be pointing fingers at Aaron Rodgers besides us. If it's warranted, if it's necessary, we will point out Aaron Rodgers. Uh, We've got no problem doing that, but... You know, uh, we'll see, but I definitely think it's just going to be with the Green Bay Packers. If it's not with the Denver Broncos, like Peyton Manning says it's not going to be, we say it's not going to be, it's either Green Bay or not playing. And for the over, overall legacy that Aaron Rodgers is desperately chasing, we know he's chasing legacy, folks. This is why he's making a big stink. This is why he's making a big stink of why he's not getting to the Super Bowl and losing in the uh, NFC Championship games. Because he needs the fans on his side because the fans are the one that debate legacy. Legacy, yeah, you can have the talking heads. And he kind of already has some of the kind of mainstream media already behind him 100%. And those are the people that do the talking talking for the greatest of all time argument, folks, and Aaron Rodgers knows that. We know Aaron Rodgers thinks he's very, you know, highly intelligent and just kind of, not just kind of, you know, facts, but just kind of how everything works and how people react and what truly matters um, when it comes to the sport of football. We all know he thinks he's big brain, high level IQ, so you can't tell me that he's not at least thinking about being highly regarded in a high seed, a high number in the greatest of all time argument. Of course he is, folks. Of course he is. Everybody knows their true kind of potential and what they can do. Just because you say something out loud and say something to the media, that doesn't mean it's true, folks. We just heard Tom Brady, folks. He said 90% of the things that I say out loud are not what I'm thinking and you don't think Aaron Rodgers is saying the same thing come on we got to be a little bit little bit 
more in depth than that. Not so naive and shallow level thinking. Um, so we'll see where he goes, folks. But I truly think it's just going to be with the Packers again. So me and Peyton Manning are on the same wavelength. So that give us credit. That vindicate us. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> I would say so. All right. <clears throat> 